So, hello guys, my name is MTN, welcome back to a new video here on Unturned. What we are doing this video time, we're basically gonna change, we're gonna look at California, basically in Unturned. Do you see this map? This is pretty much Seattle, don't you realize? It kinda looks like Seattle, but it isn't. This is Los Angeles, Catalina, Compton, we're gonna go straight out of, we're gonna go to Compton and then gonna go straight out of Compton. Basically, in my opinion, this looks pretty identical to Seattle, but they are basically... They have basically made everything straight opposite. But we have Summer Brush here, a Milita, Militia Headquarters, Bakerfield Golf Course, Bob's Grotto, uh, Clover Dairy, Los Angeles, Don Military Base, San Fernando Valley, TFF Ship Alpha Charlie, uh, Huntington Raceway, Foster Farms, under here we have Compton, this water called the Delta, uh, Rancho Pedro Military Base, we have something here that we're gonna check out. Biodome, Alpha 7, Anaheim, Merck Base, USS Paul, USS Redemption, San Mac Campground. We're basically gonna explore all of these and we're gonna go try to find any sort of easter eggs that we have in this map. And basically, which you can see on the map, there's some houses everywhere, a little there, there. This place looks pretty big, it's close to the military base, or Rancho Pedro military base. So we're gonna check everything out in this video and... Let's just basically like any normal campground. This is how it looks. Has some tents and some items in them. Is that? Yeah, that's exactly. It's a pickup compound boat. Oh, it's a compound boat that I could pick. So basically, this is Sanama Campground. Let's go check out USS Pal. So these these are pretty cool. It's boats with the. Uh, I think those are tanks on it, and basically they are ready to attack this campground. Obviously, because those are hippies. Oh, they're gonna attack each other, I suppose. Green team versus orange team. Oh, is there any way of us getting into this boat by any chance, perhaps here? Or do I have to fly in with using a... God damn it. We gotta do what I thought I was gonna... I thought I didn't have... 11... No. Yeah, 11.03, I think it is. And we basically have a power, no, umbrella. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this into this boat and see how it looks. Da, 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 drop it down from there. So we have a helicopter landing basically. We have some normal tanks here. And uh, let's see, they have these, oh wait, they're not normal tanks. They have these cool like, like control panels, what you wanna call them. Let's go ahead and check the environment inside. There should be beds here in my opinion or something like that, desks or something. Here we go. We have some awesome we weapon drops here. We have pick. We have the low caliber mil military ammunition crate. We have some armor. We have a knife there. Smoke. Everything you need. Let's go up here. We have a control panel, which is pretty much the steering wheel of the boat. There is uh, desert military tops here. So basically, you will get military gear on these um, ships. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me that you did get those, because it's a military ship. So that was the USS Paul, uh, this ship goes for the same here, I pretty much feel like it's the uh, same thing besides, maybe it's not you know, one team, maybe it's two teams, who knows, let's go to USS Redemption and check that out. I just realized that this ship is called the USS Redemption, that's pretty much Canada and that's the US, why would they fight? Or maybe they are teaming up on something, something even bigger than them. Here on Downey Campground. I don't really like the name of Downey. Just saying, because people use that word in a bad name, you know? In a bad way, sorry. In bad name. <laughs> pretty much the same. We have pretty much here. There's, I get the idea of a campground. There's a fireplace here. We have a crashed military helicopter. Wrecked car and some clothes like people got. You know. They took their clothes. Yeah. But then we have this blue umbrella. Works fine. Cool. Archon magazine, a snare, it really didn't look like a snare, it looks like some ammunition crate. But we have this black car here, brown crashed car, we have a boat there even. We could take the boat and go ahead and go over here, but we're gonna check out this house, which should be over here. Yep, I think, if I'm not wrong, this used to be a golf, what are they called, golf? Uh, this Wolf seems to be some sort of Wolf news Wolf station Wolf or something Wolf like that, like a new broadcast place. Wait, no, uh, I don't know the name of this. This should probably be, this is probably real, because I recognize this from some, somewhere, somewhere, of course, what the fuck. 
pretty empty house. She'll have some computers up here. Exactly one computer. And what do they need more? Nothing than computer, coffee, and two clocks at the same place. Where's my car? Uh, whatever, what you prefer. But I don't know everything about it. We're just gonna, sh we're just here to check it out and exploring. So I don't know if these are real. Some of these might be, but I doubt there's like boats laying down here in Kade or whatever. So I guess this is like oh, Scorpion Seven. Yeah, don't take your time to change that painting. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. I guess this is no, just just normally like the Scorpion Seven place. I think it even says Scorpion 7 here. Exactly, it says Scorpion 7, so... They have not done, like, any major changes... Major, major changes besides changing everything. Changing everything, no. This should be... Everett, exactly. What do we have here? Is there anything new? We have no, the houses. We have a tent here, which hasn't been here before. Let's go ahead and check that tent out. Yeah, nice, you know. We will go through here. We can just... Who the hell parked that god... Yeah, I thought this was gonna be a tent. Where they spawned military stuff, you know. We have a medical tent. Probably car here as well. No, ground isn't glitching at all. Fine. Um, let's continue. We have an ambulance here. Yeah, just chilling. Should we take the right here? No, we're gonna go down here. We check this place is out. Is the gas mask enough for us to go in there? No. It, it is enough. So let's go ahead and check this place out. We have these normal... Huts that have drops in them, weapon spawns, probably a super or mega zombie spawn, whatever you prefer to call it. We have a closet. Don't ask me why there's a goddamn closet there. Um, a crashed helicopter and a what are those called? Cranes, of course. What am I thinking? Uh, Scorpio Seven Inside Institu Institute of Tomorrow. So. They haven't changed any name, probably the same layout as... Yeah, there was a Scorpio 7 symbol there, I think, before. We have a UFO crashed here as well. Um, what are these? Oh, this is pretty cool. You see, there's like zombies. It's a zombie breakout here. That's pretty cool. You know, this is probably... Reminds me of Area 51. The idea of it. We have a alien ship here. Wonder if you could have any... If you would supposed to have, you know... Any alien modifications on this map. But I don't know. So this is pretty much the same layout as Aniscopia 7. But they have added a dome. And an alien ship or alien UFO crashed into the roof of that. And a helicopter. Why not? And a closet, you know. That's probably probably the biggest thing they have added on this place, I think. What do you guys think about this place? Would you rate it a 10 of 10 coffee or... One burrito out of... Possibly five million. So we have the pharmacy, I think. No, this is the pra yeah, practitioner. Why did my why did my brother sign? Like what? Rip. Why would someone put my brother's sign on the fucking pract practitioner? Was it standing over there, giving ads to two R? And there was a helicopter crash there. So that's something insane. Kind of reminds me of Compton. Now, I don't know guns. Yeah, nice. Yeah, why, why, why not have a full, like fully fenced and just destroy it? Guess a bit of a what do you call them? A good entrance, good entrance. Yeah, there's a tent here, two tents actually. Um, probably weapon drops in there as well. And uh, what is that thing that we have there? Um, oh, it's supposed to be like a dead body, you know. I get it. And this one is empty. I was supposed to be there, right? No, no. I don't know about that. At least they're keeping the good stuff up. Because that helicopter could have crashed in that. But they're showing America has the great power. No, but really. Um, flag from America. Nah, it shouldn't be on the ground. I know about that room. So this is basically... Yeah, it looks pretty much the exact same. So they haven't changed anything here. We have a military car there. Or military... Yeah, military car. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna have a look. Um... Okay, I thought I could run it over, but I guess I was wrong. Sweet. That's how you break into a mili high security military base. Well, you can't just drive if that's open, I guess. So basically, they have added houses here. And this is one of those, uh, like, uh, apartments, right? Exactly. This is one of those apartments. Let's see if there's really anything here. Maybe, maybe here. No, nothing. I, I'm pretty sure these ones are cleaned out. They're not, there's nothing, really. 
Nothing and they have added there. a airplane. So that's something. They have changed the pizza place to a apartment. So they have actually done some changes here. Let's go ahead and have a look. Um, the crane isn't here. There's a building there. Oh, this is pretty cool. They have a building here instead of the crane. I, I think there's the that's where the crane was placed. It was. Let's see what they're building now. They're repairing the bridge, perhaps? The bridge is not destroyed. It's already fixed. They're building a new place here, new houses. The crane is pretty much here. It's pretty fucking huge. Oh god, I just destroyed the city again. Oh my god. Yeah, and uh, that's how it works. Evac zone. Let's go ahead and have a look here. I didn't realize there was going to be an evac zone, so... Helicopter plaque. Um, good evac zone. Like, there's a huge... People will come here, no zombies will just run run this place over. No, don't even, don't even risk, don't you, like, take the risk. I don't think the zombies will find us. They, it's not like zombies have in history, no, they can smell people. Okay, uh, everything seems to be, like, just normal besides they've added some buildings. I think that's a pretty good job. At least you're trying to do something. I just realized that I think the airfield. We're not gonna check out, check this part of the place out. I think it's the same. They added they crashed military helicopter. Cool. Um, basically, there's this air uh, airport, and this airport was actually a football, no, a baseball court. I think baseball. I don't know if you call it court, but you know what I mean. Base. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say baseball court. Two are blueberries here. That's a gale. We're gonna check out check that out for East rings. And we have this airplane, uh, which I highly doubt there's anything special with it. Um, I don't think so. Donuts went out in airport. Wanna tap every building we can find in the game files. Yeah, just start it. Donuts in airport. Like right outside. When you wanna, when you're on your plane, you feel like, oh, I gotta go and get a donut instead. Go take a donut. And um, weapon spawns everywhere here, pretty much. Another airplane. Why is there so much grass? Maybe it's because it's overgrown and it has been like few, fifth, few ten years, ten, twenty, thirty years. The last time it was fixed, we found some glue, and everybody knows what happens when you, I find glue. We eat it or we drink it, pretty much. Let's go back. Okay, we got another <sighs> glue can, whatever game glue. Let's just say that. Oh, we, oh god, that went. Oh, I think I got blind by that. Oh shit! What happened? What? Yeah, I realized now why a thing happened to me when I was playing, um, you know, um, I was playing arena. Um, basically, I drank glue and I couldn't move. I probably think I know why. So this is supposed to be a Yale, but you can't get proper doors. Bas you could possibly on this map play like role playing and make that Yale with like proper doors and such. But that's pretty much LA, I think. Let's go as yeah, it's obviously LA, but it's not a really farm LA, like more houses. Housekeeping, uh, wait, is that a snowman in the forest? Yeah, let, dude, why not? Why not just, we feel like adding a snowman. Ah, good man, shit. Okay, fuck, oh, uh, <coughs> okay, oh, well, another snowman. What's this place then? Shit, my car is gonna explode, you know, explode. Um, by the way, I don't know if these are any like uh, Easter eggs. I'm not sure. I don't recognize them by any way. So if you know any, like if you have watched the video, that's pretty much like any of these, you know, any of these buildings or whatever. Let me know in the comments below if you know what they're called and if you know Easter eggs in this video, call them out so you basically can know what I mean. Uh, okay, this was Bob's Grotto. Um, we're gonna go down and check down military base, then we're just gonna go straight up and check that out. So then we're done with these boys. We found an ATC. Let go. I don't have any fuel on it though. Wait, is it even f running? Will this run fast? Oh shit, it will. So what does this sign say? Probably something with the military base. No evac zone. So basically this is a evac zone for those who are interested. Um, and then we have this uh, small, what could you call it, a shipyard? I don't know what those are called. Uh, docks? Docks, that is. Yeah, it's probably a dock. If you said dock. It's, it's like I'm saying it. Dark, so basically you know, what I'm thinking, dark. if I start streaming and turn, hopefully, 
me and my subscribers, you guys, my coffee cups, my lover, no, <laughs> my coffee cups, um, you, if you tune in to the stream, we could probably get at least a few, a few, few a few, a good stream up, I streamed it today, and people seem to enjoy it, and it's chill music, arena gameplay, and we're gonna spam the Russian map pretty much, we're gonna play the Russian map, we're gonna play the shit out of it, so basically that's what's going on, you know, just go to twitch.tv slash mtngg, make sure to follow there, Fine. Uh, but sometimes I did, and today was my first unturned stream, like, I don't stream very often, and... Uh, Especially if I'm not streaming on turn, you know, um, if I'm starting streaming on turn for the first time and I know I do on turn videos and people seem to appreciate them, if you really do appreciate my unturned videos, um, I've gotten a lot of likes on my recent videos on unturned and just make sure to like the video. I, by doing that on every video, like on the videos, you, if I do an example in a new game, if you like it, if I get a lot of likes on it, positive feedback, then I know you guys appreciate it and I will continue doing it. Um, but to wait to hospital and if I get a lot of dislikes on a video I realize it's either a bad video I'm just talking smack people are hitting on whatever I say you know that that can happen it has happened to a lot of youtubers um, but it's gotten clear up over the world you know but uh, I don't want any upload any bad content so if you find my content bad or if you like my content normally but uh, you don't like what it, like the exact game for an example then you can dislike it. It's all right, guys. It's all right. You can dislike how much you want, and you can like whatever you want, uh, because liking actually shows that you appreciate something. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I explode. Oh my god, my English. Anyways, guys, this was Summer Brush. So I think I drove all over this town. Basically, it has some farms and everything. It has a beautiful. It looks beautiful. I think this would look cool. They did it. Whoever did this map did a great job with a town at least. So. Whoever did this map, like uh, added these places, maybe you can actually um, make your own map like completely. I think you would be successful successful in that area because you're doing a good job. I don't Please even remember what I said. I will probably see you after this video. <laughs> I'm so I forgot it. So that was so bad to forget. But if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe because I love doing unturned videos. Okay, I just remembered. If you go to my recent uploads, you can see how active I am recently. I've just I just, just love doing unturned videos and doing them almost every single day is something huge for me that I have accomplished doing that. I will continue doing what I do. I'm basically going to do anything to entertain you guys and I think doing daily uploads or almost daily uploads at least. You guys have someone to watch because I know many YouTubers don't do daily uploads. There's of course many who do but not everyone does that and uh, I don't do that personally. I don't aim at doing that. I did that on Cisco. Gambling, I tried to do that, but it basically turned to what could I say? Turned to hell, pretty much. But uh, because gambling is something, if you lose, you get mad. You don't want to do it again. But unturned, I just love doing videos on it. I just love how easy it is to play and record at the same time, pretty much as any game. But uh, you know, unturned is something I really love playing. I'm gonna stop talking now before I will make myself bored to death. I'm not I'm the video, but I'm not sure if he fixed the bridge or if it was uh, fixed by someone else and he just took the map and fixed it, like added places. I don't know how it is, but I think this place looks cool. He seems to be a two hour fan because those signs are everywhere. I'm gonna round up this video here. I'm pretty bored. I gotta edit this video and try to make it entertaining. I've been recording for 50 minutes and yeah you know it's kind of hard to cut a 50 minute video into a short video so i'm gonna try to make it as short as possible but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed and as always stay coffee well if you like coffee that is uh, you gotta love coffee and yeah you gotta love blueberries as well even though i don't really like them in real life i can eat, eat blueberry pie but i don't really like blueberries in real life of course it's a great concept but i don't eat them it's not like i eat them every day <laughs> Plot twist, I eat them every day, every night. When I wake up, I eat 30 kilos of them. <laughs>